Hello, everybody. Andy Jacob here with the dot-com magazine Entrepreneur Spotlight Series. Thank you so much for tuning in today. For the people that come and watch the show regularly, we've got a great entrepreneur on the show today. We're going to learn so much. You know, when we had a chance to bring our following guest on the show, we were very excited because she has an amazing journey. Her name is Davielle Jackson, and of course, she is the CEO and president of Femi Secrets. And for people that love entrepreneurial stories, love people that are really solving a big, big problem in their business, Davielle is really a leader in her space. She is really the face behind her brand. She's the science behind the brand. She's really the inventor of the product. She's the master marketer and the CEO and the president. I mean, I don't know how she has any time to even breathe during the day, but Davielle, welcome to the dot-com magazine Entrepreneur Spotlight Series today. Hi, Andy. It's excellent to be here. Uh, grateful that you chose me for the interview as well, and uh, love what you're doing here at dot-com magazine. I love it, Davia. I know you watch the show and I know you love the interviews and here you are on the show. Let's get going because Femi Secrets, I mean, your product is everywhere. Women all around the world are using it. You've really solved a giant problem for women in the health category. But before we get started, let's pull the lens back to 30,000 feet. Tell us about Femi Secrets and then we're, we're going to get into it. Absolutely. So Femi Secrets is a brand, like you said, we are solving a global problem for women, which is them having access to healthy and non-toxic chemicals. And how I did that, Andy, was originally one of my best friends came to me and she was like, listen, I'm having leaks on my cycle. I'm using two and four tampons at a time. And of course, Andy, we're going to get into some drastic feminine hygiene talk. So just to get ready for it. But I mean, it's a massive problem because women using three and four tampons, uh, it's debilitating to women. Like some women literally call into work two days out the month just because they're having cramps and they feel like hell. And imagine they're going to have this for the next 30 years of their lives. So when I started Femi Secrets, it was to give a voice to the voices. Like women thought that they could not talk about this. It was taboo. It was shame. So I was like, listen, we're going to talk about this because talking leads to health. So at Femi Secrets, we're the leading brand in creating healthier and happier women. And uh, we're the only award winning brand and the only science led brand as relates to feminine care. Yeah, it's important because like you say, when you talk about it, it leads to good health. And of course, you know, Absolutely. we think about your entrepreneurial journey. We're going to get into it. Like you said, we're going to have a frank talk here. You have a patented period product that really leads to women having lighter periods, less cramps, easier lives. Basically, you know, a I'm going to say it out loud because you're going to say it. You save vaginas. That's what you say. So say let's talk about loud, that. Andy. Let's go. <laughs> You are afraid to say it. And listen, you're turning red as you say it. And listen, when I'm at the table with nothing but men, everybody is turning red. And it is crazy because women and their vaginas is like the portal to life. We literally create life. We literally populate the universe. So why is it so taboo? Why is it so hard for women to say it? So, and when I started my company, I disrupted the market. Like nobody else was like, hey, there's enough of this. The product on the market is harming women and we need to address this. So when I rolled out my product in Walmart and Target and everywhere, I was the first woman owned science tech company to do that ever in history. So many women, when using my product, when I first started the product, the Pretty Panty, uh, I was pre-med at the time, I was doing rotations. And when my friend came to me with a problem, I was like, let me think about this. Why are women having leaks when they have tampons? Well, number one, every woman's anatomy is different. So a tampon is not just going to fix the solution. Okay, so why are women having leaks when they wear pads? Uh, the pads is shifting. Women are wearing the wrong panties. The easiest solution, I said, I'm going to make a pad and panty system to where women have no leaks. And that's how the pretty panty was developed. And then I went on to say, hey, you know what? We're going to make this better. We're going to call it the pretty panty because it's such an ugly time of the month. So we want women to have some kind of lighten up, brighten up day. So we're going to call it the pretty panty. And then being from my health and science background, I said, most importantly, I have to make the product 
healthy. So when I made the product healthy, number one, women are not using the same thing over and over again. So many companies came behind me. I inspired tons of companies to start like Thinks and et cetera. So when they came behind me, they were like, oh, we're just going to stop a leak. You know, we want to hide the period. Make sure women just forget that they're on their cycle, essentially. But with me, I'm like, no, it has to be healthy so that we can have outcomes. So number one, the pad in the panty is one unit, right? So you immediately get rid of four things that you have to buy when you're on your cycle. So normally a woman will buy tampons, liners, pads, and she will use panties. You immediately eliminate all of those items when you use the pretty panties. Number two, it is breathable. So meaning most women wear the wrong panties. So it's keeping all that bacteria and moisture inside of their panties while they're on their cycle. That also causes the odor. So with the pretty panty being that it's breathable, biodegra biodegradable, and of course, uh, compostable and sustainable. But the breathable aspect of it make women have its moisture wicking. So they don't have that recurrent infection every month. They don't have that bacteria infection. And then, of course, you just throw it away. So it's really easy for women. So I created that product. And now we have over 90 SKUs. We're in stores all over the U.S., uh, we have a monthly subscription program, which is about 28,000 subscribers every month. And we'll also be releasing the Femi app uh, soon. It should be out by the time we release this interview. <laughs> I love it, Davia. Of course, the people watching the show, I mean, now you get a little bit of an understanding of how excited we were to have her on the show. I mean, we want to get into talking about the big box stores and how she got her product in everywhere. But you have a great story, you know with regard to the chemicals that you know you saw were inside the period products and you say your brain exploded. I mean, I love that so much. And then of course, the story is that you couldn't get pregnant, but then after you started using your own products and things started happening and you started becoming more healthy, you conceived. Let's talk about that because that's an incredible story. Yes. So, of course, you know, being a CEO as a woman, I was a CEO since I was 25 years. So for the majority of my life, I have been running a company. So it's extremely stressful. It's extremely hard work. And in that time frame, as a woman, you still in the back of your mind saying, hey, I need to create life. I need to have a kid. So for the longest time, it just was not happening for me. Then at one point, my stomach just did bloop. It got bloated. And I had my fiance at the time. And I was like, oh, I'm pregnant. Let me go to the doctor. So I went to the doctor and she was like, no, you're not pregnant. You have a fibroid. And I was like, well, I have a couple of fibroids. I was like a fibroid. Uh, what's that? How can I get rid of it? What is the procedure? And she was like, oh, don't worry about it. All women have it. It's normal. And but it was not only bloating me. It was causing my eating habits to change. It was causing me to bleed in between period cycles, et cetera. So she's like, oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Every woman bleeds like this. So, of course, I had to go into my own head and my own science and my own background and say, I'm going to only use the pretty panty, period. I'm not using anything else. No tampons, no wash, no anything. I uh, started using only my own products. Then all of a sudden, I'm at a photo shoot for pretty panty and I'm about to faint. And I'm like, oh, this ain't good. So I go to the doctor again and it actually was on my birthday. And I was, the doctor was like, you're pregnant. And I didn't believe her. So she was like, okay, you're pregnant. We They took the test. You know, they leave out. They're going to come back with the doctor. So it took them about an hour, like maybe 30 minutes to come back in the room. So I was like, what's the problem? So I went in there and I was like, listen, I got meetings to go to. I got things to do. Uh, You know, just let's set up another appointment. And they were like, no, no, no. It was so funny because everybody came from the back and they was like, you're pregnant. Like, we got to do tests. We got to do all. We got to start this process. It just wasn't clicking for me. So now I have my beautiful little girl, Million. She's like a little mini me. And it's because of my products and not using these unhealthy products. It happened. Wow. I love it. It's such a powerful story. And of course, you're a fighter through your entire career. You've been a fire fighter. You fight for women and their health and their, their sanity, really. And when we think about it, you have so many women that reach out to you daily and just thank you. What is it about being this fighter for women that you love so much with your product? So, again, I say that women are uh, they voiceless and because of society, society have made women feel shame just for purely being a woman. 
And if you tag on a period to that, oh, you're bleeding every month, now we're going to shame you and shun you. So I've always been a fighter and I've always spoke up regardless of the consequences. Uh, so much to the point where I was kicked out of Catholic school because of it. <laughs> I've always been a leader and like I'm always going to bend the rules and break the rules if it leads to the greater cause. So, uh, so many women, because they have been using the wrong products for so long, it's unbelievable that an actual product can actually cause them some good or help them in a way that Femi Secrets has helped them. So all the time, women just email us. They leave us comments under my DMs. That's just like, thank you so much. Number one, thanks for speaking up on our behalf. Number two, thanks for saving my vagina. That's how I got the vagina saver title. Customers was just saying, I can't believe your product work. I can't believe I did not have any leaks. It's just unfathomable for most women. So they are extremely grateful. And anytime it gets super hard for me to run this company and drive this company, that's what keeps me going is just women constantly knowing that there are more women that I have to help out there. Wow. I love it. It's a great story. And of course, we have a lot of people watching the show right now, Daviel, that might have a product and they're saying to themselves, wow, would I love to have my product in one of the big box stores or in one of the, you know, pharmacies that are nationwide and you've been able to pull it off. So they're probably saying to themselves, well, how did she do it? So let's just talk about that a little bit. How did it start where so many of these big companies, these multinational companies started seeing your product and saying, wow, we need it. Now you have so many different SKUs in your, you know, throughout the country uh, in almost every store. So how did that all sort of progress for you? So, like I said in the beginning, I was pre-med when I first uh, got my patents for the product and when I first started the company, essentially. And so my life journey has always been dedicated to science and biology and health. Uh, and so I was like, you know what, the only way, the only way that I would drop out of medical school is if this company can actually reach the massive masses. If I can help millions and billions of women, I will drop out of medical school. So uh, I got my first product and I was like, listen, we finally got the samples ready. We finally got it manufactured properly to where women were not having leaks. And I was like, uh, I'm going to just go straight to the source. I'm going to Walmart and I'm going to see if they want the product in the store. And if they want the product in the store, then I will quit my job, quit my school, and I will go full throttle in this entrepreneurial uh, journey. So what I did was I started at the ground level. I started meeting with managers on the ground level, just regionally in Atlanta. And I was like, uh, you know, most of the managers, I would say 50, 50 managers were women, some were men. But immediately the women were like, if I could put this product in the store right now, I, I would, you know, but I didn't have a vendor number. I didn't have anything at that point. So I did that for a couple of more times, you know, speaking to the managers at the ground level. And I was like, hey, let me know how I can get it in your stores. And then that kind of catapulted into me getting a buyer, of course, meeting with the buyer. And then uh, the buyer wanted the product in the store. And then lo and behold, the buyer... We we then go on. We got our vendor number. I'm now a vendor at Walmart. Keep in mind, I'm still a medical student. I'm living in an apartment down at the lowest level. You know, I got my bike and that's it, you know? So I'm like, okay. So I didn't really know what I was getting myself into at the time. I was very young, but uh, the buyer would not release the purchase order. So I'm just sitting waiting. And at, only when I get that purchase order did I know I was in business, right? So I was like, you know what? Let me just fly into Bentonville and see what the problem is. So I get on the flight. Yes, I get on the flight. I'm the youngest girl on the flight. I might be the only black woman on the flight. And everybody is like, what are you doing here? You know, what are you going to pitch? And I was like, well, I'm not going to pitch anything. I already have my contract. Uh, I'm just waiting on my purchase order. And they couldn't believe it. They was like, wow. So I get in there and I go to the home office. I'm just sitting on the, the bench. And uh, everybody would pass me by one day. They just pass me by, pass me by. Second day, pass me by. Finally, some man was like, young lady, he literally said young lady, he's like, young lady, why are you here and how can I help you? And I was like, here's my file, my folder, my pitch deck, everything. The buyer has, she knows me, I'm just waiting on my purchase order. If you can get this to her, uh, that would be great. And so he got it to her, right? And so here I'm still in Bentonville. Three days later, the purchase order came through and it was for 2,000 stores. And I was like, oh, my God, what do I do next? Right now, I'm a real business owner. I don't have no employees. I don't have no structure. I don't have anything. 
So to the entrepreneurs want to know how to get products into stores, uh, of course, that was 10 years ago. So, you know, since then, like I was one of the first women to disrupt the market in the feminine hygiene. That wasn't happening back then where just regular people were getting products into the stores. Now they have diversity programs. They have so many different things for small businesses, et cetera, that'll help you get into the stores. So just I would say you have to do whatever it takes to get your product in the store. You have to be strategic. You have to have strategy. And also make sure you are signed up for every program that relates to you, whether it's veteran, uh, woman-owned, minority, et cetera. Wow. It doesn't happen very often, Daviel, but I was listening to that entrepreneurial story of yours of getting on the plane, and I actually literally got chills because it's such <laughs> a great story. And I'm getting chills right now because the people watching the show, it will resonate for them. It, they're going to get it. I mean... You were in medical school and you had this idea and you came up with this product and you tried it and you put out a minimal viable product and you said, heck, I'm just going to go do it. I'm going to be fierce. I'm going to you know, put one foot in front of the other. No one's going to say no to me. And if they say no, I'm just going to keep asking until they say yes, because I have a great product. I mean, it's incredible. Right. Now, let's talk about Daviel's why. Because there's a reason you get up every morning. I mean, there's a reason why, you know, we, you know, we know that you have a child and that's important as well. And you want to build generational wealth and that's fantastic. Let's talk about some of the reasons why you do what you do leading this successful organization. So the main reason I do it is because I understand how it is so important for women to live better lives, right? Women have it so hard every day, whether they are raising the kids. Now, most women work. I would say 75% of women are now working. That's not normally how the world used to be. So now they got to get up and go to work. Now they got to do all of these different things and have a period every month. So just imagine that, Andy, you can't imagine it, but just imagine Every month, you know that this dark, gloomy time is going to come and it's going to be painful and it's going to be hard and it's going to be debilitating. And so I have to make sure that women can have better and easier lives. And I'm the only fearless person that's crazy enough to actually do it every day. So every morning when I wake up, it's like, how can I get my product to more women? How many more vaginas can I actually save? How many generations can I help? Because one of, one of the things that's so uh, important and a lot of people don't talk about is like, if any woman is sitting in silence with any disorder, whether it be BV or whether it be a UTI or whether it be anything, not addressing that very quickly will lead to infertility, will lead to cancer, as well as all of these products that they're using, like the tampons, all of these things will lead to unhealthy women. And, uh, and you know, it can lead to a woman not be able to have a child. And, you know, we don't think about this when we're starting our cycles at 12. We're like, how can I make this problem go away? How can I stop this leak? So that's the main point. So recently I, I just released the Junior's Panty which is for young girls. And it's because no young lady should have to start her period with any toxic chemical and feel chemical infused product. Right. So they should be able to start their periods with healthy period products that is easy for them to use. It's non evasive. So uh, what we also do here, because we are a science led and science backed company is we track the, the statistics. Right. So nine out of 10 women currently have some kind of feminine hygiene or feminine issue, whether it be fibroids, PCOS, endometriosis, nine out of 10, that's 90% of women. So I expect that ratio to change vastly as it relates to women who use, women who use Femi Secrets products. So if they're using Femi Secret products, I don't expect women to have those issues moving forward, one out of 10 versus nine out of 10. So if I, Andy, am basically helping populate the universe, I'm basically saving the world. <laughs> I have to get up every morning and do that consistently until I understand that every woman in the world can have access to these products. Wow, I love it so much. And of course, we did our due diligence. We looked at your packaging, your logo. I mean, they came across as A+, A+, A+. I mean, it's a beautiful 
design logo. It's a beautiful design package. The packaging just feels right. The name of the product is amazing. How important is sort of the packaging? We know what's inside is amazing and it's world-class. How important in your mind is also packaging for the younger entrepreneurs watching the show that are maybe thinking about putting something out into the universe? Right. So if you Google Family Secrets, you will see that we have come a long way. <laughs> you start you start with packaging, right, that you think is excellent. And then you realize that, oh, it can get better and it can get better. So like, for instance, when, we first, when I first went into Walmart stores, my packaging said menstruation. So many, and then I went to learn that people didn't know what menstruation was. They was like, is that a period? So you have to make sure you have the right packaging. And the most important thing is that you have to make sure that you're constantly evolving. It has to evolve constantly. It has to be competitive with what's in the market. So before I went to the stores, I can't tell you how many times I would just be in the stores, just looking at what's on the aisles and how can my product stand out? What will differentiate my product from all the other products in the market? And so right now, I believe we have the best packaging that we could ever have. I believe as we drive to be a billion dollar company, this is the packaging that will take us there. So packaging is extremely important. And I mean, I've done studies. I've done so much on the packaging, you know, having study group focus groups, so many women coming in and saying, hey, what do you think about this packaging? It is vastly important. So you have to make sure that it, number one, tells the story of the product and what it does immediately, because you have about 1.2 seconds for people to understand that when they're in the retail source. Well, you've done such a great job. And for the entrepreneurs watching the show, rewind, rewind what Daviel just said. That's a that's a real gem. You also have these premium Femi boxes, sort of like a subscription service. And that's just yes. going like gangbusters. Let's talk about that. And when did you introduce that? Yes. So I, uh, it's crazy because those subscriptions, if you go on our website right now, Andy, everybody's asking when is the medium coming back? When is the et cetera coming back? Because of our subscription, because of us being in retail stores, our dot com, our online is forever sold out. But one of the reasons the subscription came about is uh, when I was in Walmart and Target, of course, I started with the retail. So anybody trying to get into those stores, number one, you need to have a great banking relationship. You need to have investors. You need to have partners because the cash flow as it relates to being in those stores and the 90 day turnarounds for payments, the 130 day payments as a startup company, a small company that can kill you. So right out of the gate, I said, listen, uh, uh, you know, we're in these stores, but I don't have the financial backing yet that I need to continue to grow this company because the product was selling so quick. So right, right then, the uh, Amazon was taking over the, the country, right? Amazon is currently worth a trillion dollars. But that was in 2018. And I was like, you know what? I'm serving a customer who's going to bleed every month. They know it's coming. So why don't I just give them a subscription? And how that will benefit me and them is that every month they'll have everything they need for their cycle. They don't ever have to go to the store. But for me as a business and an entrepreneur, it's cash flow in my company. They're putting all the money up front and then I send the product on the back end versus with Walmart and Target, you send everything up front and then they pay you on the back end. So uh, the subscription, that's basically how we started it. And again, now we have over 28,000 subscribers. Wow, what a great story. I already know we're bringing you back on the show. There's so much to unpack. I mean, even on this conversation, this interview, there's so many things that you've said that entrepreneurs can learn from. And it's just a powerful, powerful position that you have in this space. And I think, you know, when we look at sort of dot com magazine and we look at billion dollar companies, when you hit that billion dollar mark, I'm going to have you back on the show. Very, very quickly, yeah. it sounds like. I'll, so have to. I'll have to. Yeah, I love it. I love it, Daviel. Before I let you go, though, I want to talk about a little bit more about entrepreneurship because you shared some of your process. You shared your story. You shared your love of women. Uh, we spoke about, and I'm going to say it out loud, vaginas. And, uh, yes. you know, it's, it's hard to say, of course, but again, you, you're teaching the world that this is something that's so important and to be healthy is so important because it leads to so many amazing things, including uh, even maybe even conceiving like you did. And it's fantastic. Now, for the younger entrepreneurs talking 
to themselves. Maybe they're having a struggle in their business. Maybe they're having a tough time. You know, entrepreneurs sometimes freeze in the frame a little bit. What can you share to the younger entrepreneurs watching your journey, watching this show, seeing what you've done with Femi? And what can you say to them about keep on pushing, keep on going and and keep on coming out the other side, feeling like, hey, I'm happy I had that struggle because I'm now I'm out the other side being better for it. Absolutely. And Andy, you know, I am a two time author. I wrote the book Ready, Set, Go, which teaches entrepreneurs how to start a business. And kind of in that book, I outlay all the details on basically what I had to go through how I got through it, why it was so hard. And the reason I wrote those books is because, you know, every woman on uh, social media was like, uh, you say, you know, you're dedicated to helping women and you're doing this, but you're not answering our emails. You're not answering our DMs. You won't help us. We're trying to start a business. You won't talk to us. And I'm like, they don't understand that I'm really running a business over here and I really don't have time. So I was like, I'm going to go to Starbucks. And I literally did. I went to Starbucks for a month straight in the summer in June and I wrote the book. And because I want entrepreneurs to understand that, number one, uh, you know, the goal is to be in a position to where you love what you're doing and you're passionate about it. So it has to be something that you love to do because it's fun. Every day I wake up, I'm having fun doing what I do. And if I wasn't having fun, I would have been was like, oh, my God, I'm done with this. You know, I'm going to find me. I have a science background. I can do anything I want to do. But love what you're doing so that when it get hard, which it will get hard, you have something to drive. Understand your mission. Write that mission and follow that mission statement to the T. Understand why you are doing this company. And it just can't be monetarily. There has to be some reason that drives your heart to keep going as it relates to driving your business. And the, the I think the best thing is uh, being able to pivot. You have to be able to pivot in an entrepreneur setting, meaning if something takes place in the economy, you see this, your product is not working, this is not working, somebody released a product that's kind of like yours, come up with something and pivot. And that's the thing about Femi Secrets is that we are the only company, feminine care company, that is multi-tiered. We are e-commerce. We are a retail company. We are a SaaS company. We have everything, products, CPG, all of these things under our umbrella. And with releasing of the Femi app, now we're driving into a trillion dollar company. So that's what you have to do is be very ingenuity and make sure that you're on top of everything. And uh, the other thing I would say always is have some cop some type of spiritual center. Like you have to be praying or my spiritual center is God. And that only God and the prayers from my mother has gotten me through where I'm at now and gotten me through anything because uh, I always tell people to be an entrepreneur on the level that I am driving to a billion dollar company is literally for the insane. <laughs> it's literally for a crazy person. So if you want to wake up and be this crazy person and live your dream and drive your dream every day, uh, just be ready to have that spiritual center and, you know, have your eye on your mission, your North Star. I love it. And of course, entrepreneurs watching the show again, you can learn a lot here because when Davielle talks about a billion dollar company, the way she says it, there's no doubt it's happening. I mean, it's already done deal. It's just it's just a matter of time. And that's the kind of passion and commitment and focus that you need as an entrepreneur, the same type that Daviel and her entire team. And by the way, your team is amazing. I'm gonna keep you over just a couple minutes. Let's talk about your team because nothing happens like this without a great team. Let's talk about your team and how important they've been to your success. Absolutely. Well, the number one thing about a team is finding the right people, the right people who believe in your mission and the right people who understand you as a CEO and can be led by you. Right. So my team, I mean, I have an amazing team, my CFO and my COO. I mean, they are Wharton University graduates. They have ran three hundred million dollar 
assets. They have exits. They have ran companies that are valued at a billion dollars right now. And I like to call them the Avengers. Uh, I'm the vagina saver, of course, and they're the, we're the Avengers. And basically, we're like a heads down, data driven company. And the best thing about me and my team and my CFO will always say it is that Davielle understands when she's right and she understands when she's wrong. And they un and my CFO always says she's worked with other CEO CEOs who can't do that. Like it has to be their way or the highway. With me, how whatever it takes to get us to that billion dollar company, whatever it takes to get our products to a billion dollars, that's what we're going to do. So have a team that understands you, your mission, and your drive. Wow. The Vagina Saver and the Avengers. That sounds like a TED Talk that, that I'm going to see you on very quick. <laughs> Andy, the, you're going to see us on the Avengers at some point. You'll see the movie. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, let's do it. The data-driven company, Femi Secrets. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Daviel, I want to thank you so much for coming on the Dotcom Magazine Entrepreneur Spotlight Series today. And we're looking forward to watching your continued journey. And we'll bring you back, of course, again. And when it hits a billion, we're going to have a party on Dotcom Magazine together. Yes, yes. 36 months. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Andy. Tight. Thank you for having me. And of course, to all the entrepreneurs out there, keep going, keep driving your dream. As long as you keep working, it'll work out for you. Yes.